Ezra 5.12b, Uvaita dana satre va'ama hagli lavavel. And that brings us to the saluk and sof pasuk, so back to the beginning. Conjunction, and here we have a substitute for a comet's aleph as a determined state. Here we have the house. And then next up, this is the near demonstrative masculine singular. So this would be this, so this house. And then coming up to Zakef Katon, we see that this is the third person masculine singular suffix. It's the Samik Tavresh verbal root. It is a pa'al, perfect. Third person masculine singular plus that third person masculine singular suffix. He destroyed it, conjunction and the people so once again a comets olive substitute in that comet say and the people and this is the gimel lamed hey verbal root that hey prefix tells us this is a hafel perfect third person masculine singular he exiled to babylon so all together this house he destroyed it and the people he exiled to babylon so we saw something here both sides of the Zakev Katon, we have object fronting, where it was the house and the people are fronted before their verbal action. So in English, we would probably say, he destroyed this house and he exiled the people to Babylon. So who's the he? Well, the God of the heavens had given them into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar. So it could be Nebuchadnezzar, who destroyed the house and exiled the people to Babylon. Or, of course, we recognize the ultimate cause that would be the God of the heavens.